How about the guy who looks completely bored with his hand on his chin in the front row? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good eyes. Yes. Oh. I wouldn't like him on that. So what happens when every student comes in, that the students interact with the connect, navigate through the classroom, talk to each of the students. You can see how authentic the actual interaction is. And they don't ever know, because they're never told, how the lab actually operates. That's something that was like the secret in the sauce. And we do that for multiple reasons, but the primary reason is because we want them to suspend, suspend disbelief. We want them to walk in and feel like, okay, this is the classroom I might walk into next Monday from substitute teaching or next year when I get my new classroom. Tell you, yeah. what's your name, sir? I'm Gerald. Oh, Mr. Gerald. Hi, I'm Ed. Good to meet you, Ed. Yeah. Tell me about your summer. Well, we visited my uncle. He was back off of duty from Afghanistan, so he was he came in Virginia. Okay. And wow, that's Maria you found over there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just I'm just checking on and seeing what she's writing down there. Do, do you have a favorite author? Because I know she was, Maria was talking about Edgar Allan Poe, but I, do you have a? Are you an English teacher? No, I'm not an English teacher, but someone behind me might be. <laughs> do you teach? I don't even teach. I mean, as a janitor. The original five students were in the classroom similar to this, but far less. What would you say, Felicia? Um, robust. Absolutely. Um, Great. Years. And the the fun part about the five students were the one thing that I think is like the the one capturing moment was when we have a student coming in and they're talking to Maria, and they're talking to Kevin, and at this point they had a few different names, and they were talking to Marcus at this point, and this, Marcus's arm went through his head. And then at one point, Maria's head like did a 360. <laughs> and afterwards I asked, you know, was there anything that you were curious about? And they're like, does Marcus have epilepsy? They suspended total disbelief. They were a four-year-old going to Disney World, they met Mickey Mouse, and they were like, that is Mickey Mouse. CJ, how are you? Uh oh, I'm okay. Yeah? So today, are you going to make it to all of your classes? Yeah, I suppose. Your, your teacher came to yesterday and I was concerned. We are. Are you kidding me? Fairchild no. came and talked to you personally? Absolutely. We have the intervention plan in place and you skipped again. The intervention? Yesterday. Who's the, You guys are all up in business you shouldn't even be in. I should be like a lawyer. You guys are like nosy, busy bodies. So in this case, when students have power struggles with student with the classroom, they will continuously probe and probe and probe, but they will stay at the behavior level you selected. That is the whole purpose of this simulation. It's not to um, replace at all the actual environment in which a student could get more experience. It's to support and provide more intentional feedback. We want you to feel comfortable and feel like you can be calm and still be collected and think on your feet, be flexible, all the skills you don't get to practice in the real world without ever harming a kid or a kid harming you and saying something that is really going to leave a lasting impact.